Hi friends, welcome back to Curious Vet. I am Dr. Mohsina. In today's video, we will learn a small but very important topic that is Horner syndrome. So let's go straight to the topic. What is Horner syndrome? It is a common neurological disorder of the eye and facial muscles. The condition usually occurs suddenly and typically affects one side that is typically it is unilateral but can be bilateral in rare cases. And it has some cl common clinical signs. The most common clinical signs are ptosis, that is the drooping of upper eyelid, meiosis, the constriction of pupil, enophthalmos, the sunken eyes and the prolapse of third eyelid. So this picture shows Horner syndrome, uh, unilateral Horner syndrome in a dog. Here the left eye is affected. You can see the ptosis and ophthalmos clearly but the meiosis is not so clear but in these pictures you can see the meiosis ptosis and third eyelid prolapse also clearly visible in a dog and cat the syndrome is not painful and does not interfere with vision coming to the etiology Horner syndrome is due to a dysfunction of sympathetic nerves of the eye and the surrounding facial muscles. This is part of autonomic nervous system which helps to control the normal functions such as blinking, muscle tone etc. There are many reasons for Horner syndrome. The dysfunction may be caused by damage to the sympathetic pathway as it runs through the neck or chest. So this picture depicts the parasympathetic and sympathetic pathway of the eye. This may be due to an injury such as bite wound or blunt trauma, a tumor or intervertebral disc disease. Middle or inner ear disease that is otitis media or otitis interna can also cause Horner syndrome. Other causes of an elevated or protruding third eyelid gland include tetanus, facial nerve paralysis, facial muscle atrophy and dehydration. So these four are the causes where third eyelid prolapse can be seen apart from Horner syndrome. However, Horner syndrome is often classified as idiopathic which means it is without a known cause. This picture clearly shows all the clinical signs of Horner syndrome in a cat. The onset of Horner syndrome can be sudden and without a warning. In some cases, the dog may have eye symptoms as well as excessive salivation and or difficulty in eating on the affected side. Any dog can develop Horner syndrome although golden retrievers and collies have a somewhat higher incidence. Coming to the diagnosis, there are several diagnostic tests that will be performed to determine if there is an underlying cause including an eye and ear exam, radiographs of the skull and chest and possibly advanced imaging such as CT or MRI scans. Pharmacologic tests may include phenylephrine drops placed in the affected eye to help localize the source of the problem. Coming to the treatment, signs can be masked by topical treatments of phenylephrine drops 2-3 to three times daily. It doesn't resolve anything but can improve the appearance of the eye and vision if it is being affected by the inverted th third eyelid. Most cases of Horner syndrome will resolve spontaneously. However, it is important to treat any underlying disease. If the lesion is not due to any pathological cause, a slow recovery lasting up to several weeks or months can take. So, let's before winding up, let's see the important points about Horner syndrome. One is the, the major clinical signs that is meiosis, ptosis, third eyelid prolapse and enophthalmos. Then another thing golden retrievers and collies have more incidence for this disease. So that's all about Horner syndrome. 
if the video is useful please like it and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a video so see you soon with another video thank you